Hello, in this video we're going to show that the positive eigenvalues of x transpose x and x x transpose are equal, where x is uh, say an m by n matrix. And before we do that, I want to uh, go through one theorem here. I'm going to call it E1 for eigenvalues. Let's let x be an m by n matrix with rank r. Then x prime x is a non-negative death matrix with r positive eigenvalues. And here's the proof. Let's let y equal xv, where v is not equal to 0. Then this holds. If we take um, v prime x prime xv, which if we define y like this, is, is y prime y. But this is the sum of i squared. You know, this, this is a vector and this is a vector. So it can be thought of as each component squared. And because it's a sum of squared items, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Well, this implies that since we chose v arbitrarily, it could be any vector. That implies x prime x is non-negative definite which implies all the eigenvalues are greater than or equal to zero. Now, because x prime x is symmetric and the spectral decomposition theorem, which I have a video out called the spectral decomposition, there exists an orthogonal matrix P such that um, when we P prime x prime x p is equal to the diagonal a diagonal matrix where the lambda i from i equal 1 to n are the eigenvalues of x prime x. Okay. So you'll have to go back and look at the spectral decomposition for that. Now note that the rank of this matrix is equal to the rank of this matrix where we pre and post multiply it by a non-singular matrix which equals to so this is of course um, you know the what we're interested in but this the rank of this is equal to rank of this but this inside is actually equal to the diagonal matrix which so it's equal to the rank of this but the rank of a diagonal matrix is actually the number of uh, non-zero diagonal elements, or in this case, non-zero lambda i. But since we showed that each lambda i has to be greater than or equal to zero, then r lambda i are positive, and n minus r lambda i are zero. And so this is proven. Now let's look at the second theorem, which is what the title of this uh, video is let's let x be an m by n matrix with rank r then the positive eigenvalues of x prime x and x x prime are equal now that doesn't say every eigenvalue is are equal it says the positive eigenvalues are equal this here is an n by n matrix and this is an m by m matrix so the number of eigenvalues will be a little bit different. And so here we're just claiming that the positive ones of this are equal to the positive ones of this. Now, by a similar argument used in E1, we can show that x, x prime is a non-negative definite matrix with r positive eigenvalues and m minus r zero eigenvalues. So they have the same number of positive eigenvalues but different number of zero eigenvalues. Here, x, x prime has m minus r zero eigenvalues. And of course, x prime x has n minus r zero eigenvalues. So let's let vi be an eigenvector of x prime x corresponding to a positive eigenvalue. Then this holds. Since v is an eigenvector of x prime x, then it e is equal to lambda i v i, where this is the uh, eigenvalue corresponding to that eigenvector. 
So now let's let x equal, I mean y equal xvi. And note this, x, x prime y is equal to this, where we, where we put in what y equals. But notice vi was an eigenvector for x prime x. So we can replace it with lambda i vi. Now this is a constant, so it can be brought out front. But x vi was y, which is this. So now this says that lambda i is actually an eigenvalue of x, x prime. And y was an eigenvector. So this shows that the positive eigenvalues of x prime x and x x prime are equal. Because this is true for every positive eigenvalue of x prime x. So they have to be equal. Now, let me go through two sort of quick and, and even perhaps silly examples to illustrate this. So let's let x equal 1, 0. So it's a 2 by 1 matrix, has rank 1. So actually it has full column rank. Then x prime x has one eigenvalue at 1, and lambda... I mean, x, x prime has two eigenvalues, 0 and 1. So this is sort of a silly proof that the eigenvalues aren't equal. I mean, because this one only has 1 and this one has 0. But, um, yeah. So then if we actually let x be the transpose, so x is 1, 0. So this has still has a rank of 1, but it's not full column rank. Then x prime x has two eigenvalues, 0 and 1, and x x prime has one eigenvalue of 1. Um, so this, this is really just to illustrate that, um, that the zero eigenvectors, I mean the zero eigenvalues are different between x prime x and x x prime. And really they only differ by multiplicity. In this case, one multiplicity is zero, and the other is one. But usually it's, it's much more than that. Well, that's all I have for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. We're going to use this result in the next video, which is the singular value decomposition. Um, so please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.